Hi, are you waiting for your bus? Yes, I am. Do you mind if I join you? My name is Brianna. No, not at all. My name is Caitlin. Have you finished school for the day? Yes, I have. What's your favorite subject? Art. I like to be creative. That was my favorite too. It reminds me of how creative God is, especially when I look around at nature. Really? I haven't thought of that before. Do you have any interest in spiritual things? Yes, I believe in God, but I'm not religious or anything like that. Well, nor am I. I am a Christian and I go to church because I want to. I have an awesome friendship with God. Do you? Yes, I do. If someone were to ask you what is a Christian, what would you tell them? Oh, that's someone who goes to church and does good things for others. What do you know about Jesus? Not much really, just that he is a good teacher who did heaps of cool stuff. Well, that's what I learned at school. That's right, but he is more than that. He is God. I'll use this road as an illustration. We are on this side of the road. God is on the other. Because of the road, which is the wrong things we do in our lives, which we call sin, we can't be friends with God. In fact, he wouldn't even allow us into heaven because we need to be perfect to get there and nobody is. Really? So how can someone get to heaven then? How can they know God? That's why Jesus came and died on the cross for us. Our punishment was eternal separation from God for our sin, but Jesus took the punishment for us so we wouldn't have to be. He came back to life three days later, and still lives today which means he can still forgive us. But we still need to choose which side we are on. What do you mean whose side? We can choose to stay on this side in our sin, the result being when we die we are eternally separated from God or we can choose to accept Jesus as Lord and Savior of our lives, and cross the bridge so when we die we will be with God in heaven. So how do I do that? Well first of all we need to know that we have sinned and be sorry for it. We need to repent of our sin, that is turn from it, and instead of going our own way go God's way instead. Secondly we need to believe that Jesus died on the cross for you, for your sin and in your place and that it is only through Jesus we can be God's friend. We then need to ask Him to come into our life to be our Lord and Savior. And no matter how hard it may be to follow Him, and it will be, to keep following no matter what. That's it. Is that all? Yes, but you won't be alone. Going to a Bible-believing church helps. USA encourage you and help all the way. Reading the Bible and doing what it says also helps so does talking to God. We call that prayer. Telling others what you have done is also important too. Oh, I understand now so just believing in God is not enough, nor is being good? No, I am afraid not. Caitlin, I want to ask you an important question. What would you like to do with what I have just told you? Would you like to make a commitment to be a follower of Jesus now, or would you like to think about it? Or you could say no. I would like to do it now. Okay, do you mind if I pray with you? No. Let's pray you can repeat after me. Lord God, I thank you for who you are and for all that you've done for me. I am sorry for sinning against you. Thank you that Jesus took my punishment for my sin by dying on the cross and rising again from the dead. I ask that you would please forgive me and come into my life to be my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much. You're welcome. In fact, it is my pleasure. Here is my number if you want to come to church with me or if you have any questions. Thank you. That looks like my bus coming. I had better go. Bye. Bye.